able to walk, Lord God, according to your word, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Holiness and righteousness, is, Lord God. Yes, walk Jesus. free, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Walk whole, Lord God. Walk, Lord God, in our right mind, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Walk in a spirit of love and power, Father. Yes, we praise you, magnificent God, O oh, excellent God. Yes, Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Thank you for today, Lord God. Yes, Deliver us from evil, Father. Yes. Deliver us, Father. Yes, in the name we of give our steps to you, Lord God. We surrender unto you, Lord God. Yes. And ask you to have your way today, Lord God. Yes, have your way to lay today, Lord God. Yes, Move Lord. by your spirit, by your power, Lord yes, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We told you, Lord God, to open our hearts, our minds, Lord God. We lay it all at the altar, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. You know all, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you see all and you know all, Lord God, and you know what's best, Lord God. Yes. So, Lord God, we just surrender to you, Lord God. Yes. We send it, surrender to your will, your way, Father, yes. in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Jesus. Not our way, Lord God. Everything that's not of you, Lord God, just take it away, Lord God. Yes. Strip it, Lord God. Yes. Tear it down, Lord God, and build us up, Father, according yes. to your word, Lord God, yes. according to your will, Lord God. And may we walk in the promises, Lord God. That you have given us, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We exalt your name, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for, for the nuggets that come today, Lord God. The food that you're going to put on our plate today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, I pray, Lord God, in our spirit, our being, Lord God, be empty, Lord God. We empty everything, Lord God, that we say, Lord God, fill ourselves with nothing but you, Lord God. That we walk, Lord God, in power, in wisdom. That we, Lord God, search you, Lord God. We search for you, Lord God. Lord God, we yearn for you today, Lord God. We put everything aside right now in the name of Jesus and pull on you right now, Lord God. We pull on you right now, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the deposit, Lord God, in us, Lord God. We thank you for the words when he spoke to your, your men, your man, and your woman of God, your speaker, Lord God. We thank you for your word when coming forth, Lord God. We thank you for the anointing and the power, Lord God. We thank you for resurrection today, Lord God. We thank you for healing today, Lord God. We thank you for deliverance today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you're one, Lord God. Come in, Lord God. King of glory. You're going to give us, Lord God, the excellence and, and your perfect will, Lord God. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Have your way. Saturate yes. these Lord. ground, Lord God. Yes. Fill these ground, Lord God, that yes. we may go forth, Lord God. And more than anything, Lord God, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Yes. And walk in freedom and walk in deliverance, Lord God. Yes. And walk in victory in the name yes. of Jesus, yes. Lord God. Because we know the battle is yours and the victory is ours, Lord yes. God. We can't stand in it, yes. Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father. Praise. Fill this house with joy and love, Lord God. Yes. Fill it, Lord God. Lord. Every concern, Lord God. Yes. Everything, Lord God, that we, Lord God, things to like connect ourselves to, Lord God, and yes. take our focus, Lord God. Lord God, we, Lord God, say dissipate. Yes. Lord God, we say we command it to go. We command it to go. We command it to go. In the name of Jesus, we stand, Lord God, in the, in the awe of you, Lord God. You said that we are made and formed in your image, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God. We say hold to that in the name of Jesus. We walk according to your word, Lord God. And then the and the decree, Lord God, yes. what you say to the creed, Lord God. Yes. We speak the name of those things that we not as so they work yes. in the name of Lord Jesus. Lord. And we are excellent in your sight, Lord God. Yes. Lord. We praise you, Lord God. According to your perfect will for our life, Lord God. Yes. We thank you, Lord God. Yes. Oh magnificent God. All yes. power, all loving. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Lord God. To stand right in top with your love. Yes. Yes. Your purity, Lord God. Yes. We praise you, Father. Yes. We praise you, Lord God. Yes. We praise yes. you, Lord God. Yes. We thank you, Lord God. Have your way. We thank you, Father, yes. by your spirit, Lord God. Yes. We thank you for what you're going to do, what you're doing, and what you, what you, Lord God, is going to bring forth in our lives, Lord yes. God. And that's your yes. our purpose, Father. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for yes. purpose today, Father. Yes. We praise you, Lord God. Yes. Yes. We praise you, Lord God. Yes. We walk in excellence in the name of Jesus. Yes. We declare, we decree, we walk in excellence in the name of Jesus. According to your perfect will, Lord God. 
God. Ooh. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. And let the blessings of the Lord fall in this house. Yes. Fall in this house. Yes. Fall in this house. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, yes. open in this house. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes. The blessings flow as we walk and as we go, as we move. Hallelujah, Lord God. We yes. see, Lord God, the windows of heaven open, Lord God. We see the old heaven open on our behalf, Lord God. We have confidence in you and boldness in you. In the name of Jesus, yes. hallelujah, you, Lord God. We praise your name, Father. We praise your name. We give praise unto your name. We continuously, continuously seek your faith. We continuously pray in the name of Jesus. We continuously sing, Lord God, blessings unto you, Lord God. And we expect the blessings to come forth. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for all the confidence in you, Lord God. Your richness, Lord God. Your riches, your fullness. Hallelujah, Lord Hallelujah. God. We praise you, Father. Yes. Bless your holy name. Yes. Bless your people today, Lord God. Bless your people today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we have a great, a great pastor, Lord God. We have a great shepherd, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, that all is well and the fullness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the abundance, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We praise you. We have so much so excellent as, as you are, Lord God, according to your spirit and your will, Lord God. Yes. And all the blessings and everything, Lord God, that you have set forth to do, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, and we decree that it shall come forth in the name of Jesus. Yes. 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 Prosperity, Lord God. These grounds are blessed in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Every yes. provision yes. come forth in the name of Jesus. Yes. We praise you, Father. Yes. We praise you, Mother yes. Missionary, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Yes. And it's established yes. in your name, Father. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's established yes. in your name, yes. Lord God. Yes. But we are established in yes. your name, yes. Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thank you, Lord God. You. In the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Because we meet, uh, and I ain't gonna tell y'all where we meet at, because y'all might get jealous. 
<laughs> but once a week, twice a week, sometimes, no, once a week or once every other week, sometimes we sit down and we just chat and we talk. Amen. And chew. And chew. <laughs> chat, talk, and chew. <laughs> Sometimes we do more chewing. <laughs> it all depends on what the chewing is like and what needs to be talked about. Amen. But we stay in connection with each other. Amen. And what a blessing from God. Yes. And then he messed around and got married. Oh, amen. And uh, got married to somebody that I wholly respect. Amen. Totally, amen. Totally, amen. totally respect. Amen. And how she stands with him and stands beside, beside him. Help push him along, and he help push her along. Amen. Amen. And so today, uh, uh, they're gonna come as a duo. Amen. 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 I've been pulled. I hope my son is not listening. <laughs> but he's been pulling me. This, this, this shadow company has been needing me so much. Mm. Oh, wow. And so I've been pulled that direction. Mm. And it just happened to be at the right time, right? You know, I was there oh, Friday, all day Friday. Mm -hmm. and, um, but it was a blessing because you get a chance to meet people and pray for people and things like that. Sort. And so I was there uh, all day Friday. I think that was Friday, yeah? Yeah, Friday, yeah. And so they gave me off yesterday. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Then I worked myself crazy in my own yard. <laughs> so I uh, don't know how to stop, but I have to be honest with you. My daddy said, you got that from somebody, then you didn't get it from me. Oh. I said, well, I think I got it from you. Crazy. I got it from you. Well, Pastor Clark and Dr. Danny Clark. Yeah. Amen. 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 I don't know what they got for us, but I, I'm entitled to enjoy the presentation already. Amen. 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 So I don't know who's going first. I'm going to leave it up to them. Amen. 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 So praise God, whoever's going to go first, I'm going to sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Um, usually when um, Pastor Clark and I tag team, we take turns within the same message. But the Holy Spirit has given us two messages. Amen. We'll keep it brief, though, okay? We're trying not to go over our time. Amen. All right, and be in obedience. Um, I give honor to God and Bishop Gentry and First Lady Rochelle Gentry. Amen. Um, my husband, Pastor Nate Clark. Um, my church family. Amen. Uh, you all mean a lot to us. Yes. Um, we love you deeply. Yes. Thank you. Love You're a good family. Yes. You're a good family. Thank you. Um, and now um, I want to pray before I bring um, my message. Um, and I want to pray under the power of the scripture, Jeremiah 33 and 3. That scripture says that if we call out to God, we can ask him mighty secrets known only to him, and he will reveal. He will reveal to us. All we have to do is call to him. So right now we're calling to you, Lord God. We're calling to you. Use us. Use us as vessels. Let us be revelatory through your might, through your power, through your light. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In your precious son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Um, I'm going to sing a little bit. And then I'm going to talk a little bit. Amen. Is that all right? Yes. 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 All right. How can I say thanks for all the things that you've done for me? Things so undeserved, and yet you gave to prove your love for me.
you need to know that you have the authority to do so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's look together at Matthew 10 and 1. Please open your Bibles to Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Amen. Yeah. So Matthew 10 and 1. Mm -hmm. Everybody there? Yes. Amen. It reads, Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits. Yes. And to heal every disease and sickness. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the reading of that word. Amen. Did you see that word authority? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. In Greek, the word for authority is exousion. Exousion. It comes from the word exousia. Exousion. It means power. It means competency. But it also means freedom. It means freedom. You are free to bring more people into God's fold. Yes. You are free to build his yes, kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. Now you might be saying to yourself that Jesus only gave that power to his first 12 disciples. Uh -uh. Remember, God is no respecter of persons. <laughs> he is not. And Apostle Paul, all throughout his letters in the New Testament, showed us the power that the Gentiles were given just as well. Aren't you part of the Gentile family? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Therefore, you are empowered. You have that power. Yeah. Besides, yeah. 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 evangelizing is a requirement of your yeah. faith walk. Yeah. You have to do it. Yeah. Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20 tell us. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always, always. Yes. Yes. to the very end of the age. Yes. This is the duty of God's church. Amen. It is so important to know that you have the power of the Holy Spirit with you as you witness. Because in Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 through 17, Jesus warns his disciples, I am sending you out like Lord. sheep among wolves. Lord. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes yeah. and innocent as doves. Hallelujah. See, he adds this part. Be on your guard. Be on your guard. Yes. You will be handed over to the local councils and be flogged in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you hear that word flogged? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means to be tied up while beaten with a stick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I, I'm not in a hurry to be uh, beaten and flogged. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have to pray to remind myself yeah. that a beating from the Lord on Judgment Day mm -hmm. is far worse than a physical beating here yeah. on earth. Yes. Amen? Yeah. 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 Obedience. Yeah. Obedience. Obedience. Mm -hmm. So after you realize that you have the authority, you have the freedom, you have the complicity, you have the power, you will need instructions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go with me to Matthew 10, verses 5 through 6. Mm -hmm. And these verses state, These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Hmm. Jesus, as a great teacher, knew that he needed to tell the disciples how to evangelize without being in his presence mm -hmm. as they did it. Yeah. He tells them to start first with the ones who left the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start first with the ones who left the church. Left the church. Yeah. Uh, this is like gathering that low-hanging fruit. It's easier to reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You don't have to be at the top of the tree to oh, get yeah. to this one. Mm -hmm. You don't have to explain so much. Yet because these people already know the Lord, 
Yeah. Uh-huh. They've just been distracted or maybe depressed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. While in line at a local grocery store, I found a booklet called Tracks, Scats, and Signs. Mm-hmm. It is a booklet for hunters to be able to catch their targets. Mm-hmm. Lost souls are Christian mm-hmm. targets. Our job is to set the captives free. Set them free. Mm-hmm. Just as animals are on land and in the sea and in the air, so are human beings who need the Lord. Yeah. These humans are treasures for the kingdom. Now, some treasure is underwater. You can spot a person who is spiritually underwater because she's choking. She's drowning in sorrow. She's moving slowly. She needs to be able to come up for some air because she's taking in too much of what she doesn't need to. Now, when the treasure is underwater, you can use a lure. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. To catch these underwater treasures. Uh Yeah. When you fish, I've got some fishermen in here. Yeah, I've got some fishermen in here. You're, you're, when you fish, you use different types of lures. Yes. Some are alive and they wiggle on their own. Amen. While others are fake, but you can keep them moving in the water. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. So the fish might still bite. Right, right, right. What can you say to someone who is spiritually drowning? Tell them that Matthew 10 and 7 states that the kingdom of heaven is near. Yeah. Give them some hope. Now they can take a deep cleansing breath full of hope and relief from that spiritual drowning. While some treasure is sunken underwater, other treasure is buried. running out of air, but they can't come up because their air is limited, so they're frantically scratching for it, clawing for an opening, trying to find a way out. They're covered by too much weight. They can't see for the darkness. They've been hidden away from their loved ones. There are so many distractions that are sitting on top of them, stopping them from their true These treasures have to be chased. Mm-hmm. It's not enough to use a lure. Yeah. yeah, my lord. They're buried. Yeah. So they have to be chased. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. My lord, my lord, my lord. My lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell them that Matthew 10 and 8 says, Heal the sick, mm-hmm. raise the dead. Raise the dead. For they're almost dead. Hallelujah. Cure those with leprosy and cast out. Demons. Give as freely as you have received. We as apostles have this power to raise the dead. Those who are dead in their spirits. Those who are dead to their faith. We have that power. That dunamis power. We have that power. That dynamite power. We have that power. We have that power. We have that power. Yes, it's good, Dr. Some Ooh. treasures underwater. Treasures. Uh-huh. Some treasure is buried in the land. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some treasure is up high mm-hmm. and can see you coming. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They're skittish. Mm-hmm. They move quickly. Move quickly, mm-hmm. yes. And when they get up high, mm-hmm. or they just happen to be high <coughs> from some chemical assistance, mm-hmm. their <laughs> centeredness is off. Mm-hmm. My Lord. They can't even walk straight. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. My God. They go on and on about childhood dreams that they are now far too old to achieve, my Lord. (laughs) But they call these lies having faith. When God didn't even tell them to do this or that it's something to hold on to. to. Now these treasures, you got to ambush. 
You have to use camouflage, mm -hmm. concealment, and the element of surprise. surprise. <laughs> this might be an intervention meeting uh, for a treasure who's in need. Yeah. Glory, glory, Lord. Some treasure is in caves. Fear keeps them inside. At first, the cave was just to protect them from the elements, but then they moved farther and farther away from the light at the opening. They thought they could handle the darkness. And when you help them, you're going to need some light to see your way through it. Because I guarantee you, they're not in that cave by themselves. So tread carefully so that you can discern any spirits on the way. You don't want it to be a case where you leave and you lost and then somebody got to help you. Some treasure hides right out in the open. She looks like she's got it all together. She's dressed the part. Or he is camouflaged to blend in with the world so he doesn't stick out. So people won't really know who he is. Uh -huh. A child of the Most High King. Oh, yeah. But he's trying to fit. Trying to fit. She's trying to fit. Yeah. So they're hiding right out in the open. Yes, yes. Now with these treasures, you can just right, walk right on up to them with a good word. Because uh -huh. they're just right there for the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then some treasure is going to come to you. you. Yeah. People can see the Holy Spirit in you and on you. They can see it. Yeah. Yes. Over the years, people have asked me, and this was before I even accepted the call. I didn't accept the call to minister until 2014. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glory. I ran a long time. Sometimes when people would ask me if I was a minister, I wanted to ask them, why are you asking me that? Because I sure didn't want to have to deal with it. <laughs> Let's just say the truth. Oh yeah. Yes. Let's just speak it plainly. Yeah, tell the truth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I would ask, why are you asking? But before long, I realized that God shows through us. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When treasure comes to you, just speak the word as God gives it to you. This person already sees the light of God in you. So this type of evangelism should be easy. For treasure hunting, you're going to need a map. Mm -hmm. An X marks the spot. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I told you I found that little book of tracks and signs and scats. Mm -hmm. So here are some signs. Is he using others? Is she too needy? Is he controlling somebody? Is she real lazy? Here are some tracks. A power track. I want position and I want bling on my fingers. A control track. I don't want any chaos and you need to just do what I told you. A comfort track. I don't want any stress. Approval track. I just Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Approval track. <laughs> Here are some scats. Now, scats are waste products. That yes. <coughs> waste products stink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. That tells you not to eat it. Mm -hmm. Don't ingest that. Here's some scats. Fear of losing people. Uh -oh. Worry. Anger. Mama. Boredom. Addictions, Addictions. missed opportunities, mm -hmm. misuse of money, mm -hmm. abuse of loved ones, mm -hmm. being paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
Those are some scats. Now, when you're treasure hunting, you need a trusted team with you. You need somebody who's going to make a sound like monkeys and prairie dogs do in nature when they see the prey coming. Uh -huh. They make a sound. They let you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so who will you take for the first approach? Who's going to go up first? And then who will close the deal? You know, like when you're at the mall, first the person at the kiosk says to you, here's something, a man to help you with your wrinkles. Why are you coming to me for wrinkles? Why didn't you go to somebody else? I was just buying something. But if I express any interest at all and then change my mind, somebody else comes in to try to close the deal. Someone who's a little more experienced with yeah. this evangelism. My husband usually closes the deal when we're out together. Who will sound an alarm? Who will have your back, both physically, spiritually, when you fall, when you're attacked? Some treasures wear the kind of spirits that have the person doing the destruction themselves. This might be some self-inflicted pain. This person is acting alone like the one lost like the prodigal son scripture lets us know that even that one lost sheep yeah. is important to regain yes. for the kingdom. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord. Some treasures wear spirits that direct others to destroy. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you. They're high ranking. Mm. Yes. They have people reporting to them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They have followers. Now, if God sends you to these people by bringing this one person to the kingdom, he will bring many others with him because he's an influencer. Mm -hmm. He's just doing it for the wrong side right now. Mm -hmm. Show him the right side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell them to recruit yeah. and bring them on with him. Some wear leftover spirits. Mm -hmm. These are scavenger types that feed off what's left on the bones. They are cleanup spirits. Like hyenas. Yes. Like catfish. What do we give to others when we evangelize? We give them wisdom. Proverbs 24, verses 3. And four, read, by wisdom a house is built. A house is house. built. Hallelujah. And by understanding, it's established. Glory to God. And by knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Yes. yes. Those are our treasures. And how do we evangelize today? We can pray for people by name. Yes. We can go out on college campuses. We can invite people to events. Yes, we, can. we can spend time with others doing something they love, such as watching a movie or participating in a hobby. And as you talk about the movie, something is bound to remind you of the Bible. Amen. You can share your story about coming to the faith. And once you become familiar with the process, begin to teach others how to do it. Mm -hmm. I like to break the ice by giving a person a sincere compliment. This usually makes them smile as they say thank you. And if they're smiling, you got them. You got them. They're ready to hear you now. And this could be followed with a quick statement. God loves you. Amen. Who needs to evangelize? We all. Uh, all, of us. all of us. When do we need to evangelize? All, all the time. time. All the time. Anytime. That's right. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to evangelize? Because the church needs a freshman. Amen. According to the Buford Wind Scale System, a fresh or freshening wind is about 24 miles per hour in speed. Mm -hmm. It is a rough wind rough, yes. that can create waves.
waves up to six or eight feet taller than I am. A fresh wind. And it can make small trees sway. Thank you, Jesus. We need a fresh wind. A fresh wind on the land. Hallelujah. Miracles happen with a fresh wind. My God. Yeah. Yeah. The four winds are the power of God in the natural world where miracles can occur yeah. and where God shows his strength. The prophet Daniel saw a vision by night. Behold, the four winds of the sky broke out on the great sea. Four great animals came up from the sea, diverse one my God, my God. from another. That's from Daniel 7, verses 2 through 3. And then the prophet Zechariah saw four chariots rise up between two mountains and asked an angel what these were. The angel answered, these are the four winds of the sky, yeah. Yeah. which go out from standing before the Lord of all the earth. That's in Zechariah chapter 6, verse 5. The wind of the Spirit in the book of Acts, mm -hmm. signified the birth of the church. Oh, it empowered the 120, yeah. and by nightfall, had added at least 3,000 to their ranks. From 120 wow. to 3,120 yes. wow. in just 24 hours. 24 hours is extremely divine church growth. <laughs> so let's start treasure hunting for a fresh wind. Look for tracks, signs, and scats along the way. For it's time for a rebirth. It's time for a modern day resurrection. <laughs> it's time for a renewal. It's time for a fresh wind. And finding God's treasures oh, yes. is just what the church needs. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just let me live my life. Let it be pleasing, Lord, to thee. And should I give Should be evangelizing. 
Right. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. How many believe, praise God, that the harvest is already, it's, it's plenty. Yes. There's people everywhere. Yes. Yes. We cannot, we got to stop letting the enemy rest face in our head and tell us, oh, they don't want to hear that. Uh -huh. Huh? Yes. Or oh, I can't talk like this among my alums. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Huh? Yes. How I many know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. You got to stop letting the enemy rest face in your head and tell you, I don't know that much Bible. I just want that, that that's free right there. Yes. How many know that it's not you anyway that's doing the saying, it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Huh? It is the Holy Spirit. Yes. You belong to God. Yes. You are not your own. I am not my own, but you've been called for such a time as this. Yes. Amen. 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 By grace are we saved for what? To look good and look cute? Uh -huh. I don't think so. By grace we are saved that we might face the devil Amen. and point our finger in his face and let him know that for God I live and for God I die. I'm not ashamed of this gospel, but it's the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Amen. And devil, I'm not shaking in my boots. I'm not hiding in the corner. I'm not cowering behind somebody's curtain. Mm -hmm. That was free. Amen. We got to get out of it. Praise God about the things of God. Yeah. Say, I know who's I am. Come on. I know, I, I know whose I am. I know whose I'm am. not twisted. Amen. Glory to God. Saints of God, we have a purpose. Yeah. I was telling somebody that, about that at work with that. I said, man, when you don't know your purpose, you're in trouble. Yes. As saints and the people of God, every one of us has been called to something yes. that we might bring glory to the kingdom. Yeah. Say, I'm a kingdom's kid. I'm a kingdom's kid. I'm going to try to be the closer here. Say, I'm a kingdom's child. I'm a kingdom's child. Come on. My wife talked about the percentages. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. She talked about, praise God, the thing, the treasure, that treasure hunting. Mm -hmm. We all should be treasure hunters. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. That don't mean, praise God, you deep in the mm -hmm. I stick your chest way out. <laughs> rub this, rub yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, know what I'm talking about. Amen. Yeah. I'm Bishop this. I'm so and so young. But how do you know? Just being a Christian. Yes. Say, I'm a Christian, man. And I love the Lord Jesus with all my heart. Yes. Man, I was torn from the floor up. I was damaged goods and still are a little bit. But I'm not as damaged as I used to be. Amen. I'm a work in progress. I'm under construction. I got tones all around me. But I am. Oh, amen of the glory of God. Amen. And if you've got a second or two, let me tell you about my Jesus. Woo, glory to God. I ain't got nothing else for you. Amen. I don't want to talk about how good I look, how well, how articulated I am, how I articulate, how, how wonderful I am. I'm going to tell you about someone that changed me. Amen. When I was a wretch under, I was a fit to be thrown out. Oh, hallelujah to God. I was fit to be thrown out. Let me get back here. Because I feel something, praise God, rising on the inside of me. Say I'm called for such a time as this. Oh, to God. I am called for such a time as this. The world, the church is in trouble, y'all. Turn to your neighbor and say, the church is in trouble. So what are you talking about, preacher? The church is in trouble because we won't use what we have already. Uh, huh? We say, well, I don't know, I don't know enough. And I don't have enough. Huh? Glory to God. I said the church world is in trouble. Well, you don't know, lie. I do have my notes here. I said the church world is in trouble because we're too busy trying to have a business in church. Uh -huh. We make the house of God a business. Uh -huh. All we talk about is marketing in God's place. Uh -huh. huh? We use the church, praise God, as a marketplace to market our business. Yeah. What happened to evangelizing? Yeah. What happened to praise God going and tell somebody that, hey, God, praise God, wants to do some things. If you give me two seconds, I promise you, praise God, I'll tell you what happened. What happened? I know Paul said, you ran, but what 
did what hindered you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I want to talk about some things here. I want to talk about praise God. Being released All right. from myself. Mm -hmm. my Lord. Huh? Yeah, my Lord. Not from my brothers, people, places, and things. But being released from myself. You see, if I can't get the Holy Spirit and allow him and not allow my pride and my arrogance and my ego, huh? And my been that done that attitude. If I can't allow the Holy Spirit, praise God, to address and to allow him, not only just to hear the word, huh? But to have that word, praise God, amen, to help me digest that word. Amen. Jesus, how can you hear without a preacher? How can you preach without be saying? But what we're looking at, saints of God, is a church body, by the body of Christ, we're just hearers. We got to be careful that we don't just become hearers. Huh? How many of you hear stuff all day long? Amen. Information, we are bombarded with it. Yes. Huh? We are hearing things all day long. And we have to be careful when it comes to the face of God of what we've been called to as the evangelist that we don't allow our hearing to become, that our spirit get contaminated with things that we know is purposeless. Yeah. That we get so jacked up in our spirit, I can't even witness to nobody. Mm. I can't talk no more. I used to tell everybody about God. Now I can't even say nothing. Mm. My Lord. Then the enemy says, you better not say nothing. Mm -hmm. Then we cower in our job. Mm. We too afraid to the email saying thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. But didn't need to talk about anything else. Mm. Huh? Something's wrong with the body, man. People got something wrong with that picture. I promise you, we're not get, we didn't get saved, amen, just to look, just to warm the view, just to find out, oh, I'm preaching tomorrow, I'm preaching the next day. Oh, come on, Pastor. Come on now, Pastor. I don't wait too long, it's been two weeks after all, it's been two days, you know. Come on, people of God. How do you know that we have platforms everywhere? Come on. I said we have platforms everywhere. In the club? Yes. Hello? Amen. In the marketplace? Yes. On your job? Uh -huh. Behind your cubicles? Yes. And you sit there and look cute? Uh -huh. Come on! <laughs> really? I'm, I know it's comical, but I'm telling you, we gotta stop. Yes. What is wrong? No wonder the image we can have. Yep. No wonder, praise God, when I come to church, I'm jacked up. Yep. Huh? I'm rolling my eyes. I'm contemptuous about everything. Right. Huh? I don't got angry. I can't even speak. Huh? I see you coming down the hall and going to the bathroom. <laughs> What's wrong with that picture, man? Amen. Huh? Glory to God. Y'all got me excited. Huh? I wanted to show you something, then I'm going to read something. I'm going to be done. Somebody say good ground. Good ground. Good ground. Somebody say good ground. Good ground. We're talking about the sower. How mm -hmm. I many know the sower? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus said the sower went forth the sower. How I many know who's the sower? Amen. Amen. How I many know who the sower is? Yes. The scripture says he went, the sower went forth the sower. Yeah. Glory to God. Even now, you can feel him sowing in your spirit. Yeah. If you're tuned in, yeah. he's sowing the big pretty hands of his. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. He's sowing. In his daughters, in his sons. Why is he sowing in us? Huh? For us to say, hey man, I'm, you know, I'm an angel. I'm got, I got more than you. You got no. He's sowing in us that we praise God in turn, praise God, we begin to eat what's being sown. Yes. That we begin to digest what's being sown. Somebody said the soul is going for it. He's doing all he can to get our attention. Amen. Yes. Yes. Praise God. How many can see this? What happens, praise God, when good seed falls on good ground? Most of the time. When that, when that, what is the seed? The seed is the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. John 1 1 in the beginning was the word, the word was God. The same was in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning. The seed, he said, Daisy. He said, he said, 
the seed, some of the seed fell on good ground. Yeah. We're going to talk about the good ground first. I'm going to give you the good first. Somebody say, save the best for life, but no, I want the best right now. Yeah. Good ground. Mm -hmm. When this man of God, when this woman of God goes forth preaching, and they're sharing each Sunday, do you just get out of your bed, take your child and brush your teeth, just come out here and just look? No. Come on, guys. We know we have a higher call to just come in here. Amen. Come on, man of God, women of God. We know that there's much more that we could be doing. Yes. We could be in the restaurant talking to folks. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if they say no, it doesn't matter. We can't worry about what happens after we share. Right. But these seed, if you have that good ground, you're going to share it like the woman of God just said. Yeah. You're not just going to be a treasure hunter, but you're going to be a treasure planter. Okay. Hallelujah to God. Oh my God. You tell me when you get pregnant enough with the word of God, these seed ministers, when we get pregnant enough with these seed, hallelujah, praise God, you're going to go and drop on somebody because you cannot keep the good news to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to tell somebody. Yeah, yeah. If they don't listen to a whip, it's still a good day. Amen. Why? Because you're sweating with it. That's your purpose. Your purpose. The baby is crying. Hallelujah. Your purpose is crying. Hallelujah. And it wants to talk to somebody. It wants to praise God. Burn something out of you. Yes. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. That baby is kicking. That seed wasn't just planted, praise God. Because if it stays there and don't do anything, praise God, then there's trials and the cares of this life. Praise God. People, places, and things. Information, praise God. The, 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 the internet. Huh? The, the social media. Huh? Praise God. Books. How to books. Hallelujah. Yes, it's my lead. Hallelujah. Means help. Hallelujah. We get caught up, praise God, in junk that don't matter. God is not pleased and not happy. Praise God with me trying to impress him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Let me say that again. I said, God is not pleased. If I'm just trying to impress that man of God. Here I am trying to impress my creator. Wow. 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 Trying to impress my God man. The one that gave me that. The one that gave me lungs. The one that gave me a heart. The one that gave me a brain. I'm trying to impress. No. He said, when a man's ways please the Lord. Huh? He makes even his enemies. People, places, and things, situations, junk, gunk, be at peace. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then there's that bad soul. I don't know about you. I know a little bit about a little bit about from my dad taught me a little bit about farming. He used to show me things, talk to me. Amen. I mean, no, those of us that are uh, green thumbs, when you got flowers, huh? I said, when you got flowers, and sometimes they're so cute, and they're so little, and they're so weak, you know you have to think. My mama used to call them my pets. Huh? You got to be kind to those flowers. You got to water them. How I many don't tell the truth? You got to water those flowers. My God, I know you may not want to, but sometimes, praise God, you got to even talk to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my mom used to talk to him. She used to talk to her plants, morning God. She used to talk to him. I was like, what is mama doing? She was loving him. Woo, oh, that's how God does us. When we, when the light come on, and we begin to walk and talk like Jesus. Uh, we begin to say what he say. Uh, we begin to feel what he feels. On that note, feelings. You know, serving the evangelizing is doesn't depend on how you feel. Mm. You may not feel like talking to nobody. I shared that in the Bible study in Sunday school this morning. You might not feel like witnessing. How many so how many how many know that, that feelings are fickle? Yeah. They're bipolar. <laughs> Glory to God. They're manic, depressive. They 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 all those things. They come and go feeling stuff. Yes. She just said, not by might. Not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. Didn't he say something? He said it's by my spirit, man. I don't care what you don't feel like. What I did for you, man, praise God, will trump anything that you will think. Hallelujah. Anything that you'll do, 
But all I've all I done for you will trump anything that you're doing. Yes. Somebody say bad song. So what happens? Growth gets stunted. Uh -huh. If you don't nurture those flowers and take care of them, right? Dig them up, kind of dig them up a little bit, kind of refresh in the soil, put some, put some nutrients in there. Hey, man, you'll come back out there and just say, man, hey, this thing was a beautiful thing, and now it's like a little rut. <laughs> 24 hours, it became a rut. It's not growing out. Who care about a flower? Can you get rid of the dog? The dog gets the bathroom on my flower. Oh, we go, we go crazy, we go crazy with that. If we don't pray that allow the word of God, huh? Even if that's strong, you know what you can do? I begin to tell them, and I tell them every day, Lord, I know that I'm a construction site. Glory to God. I don't know how sometimes you put up with me. Yes. I don't know how sometimes you put up with me. I don't know. I don't understand it. And I'll never understand your love. Yes. But he puts up with us, don't he? Yes. Uh -huh. You know why? Because he's seen the end result. He knows there's good in you. Yes. There's investment in you. Yes. There's power to evangelize in you. Yes. Huh? Yes. We have no excuses, saints. Uh -huh. yes. We have it all. We have everything. Yes, the social media, you can't, the social media can't save us. Mm -hmm. Instagram can't save us. Mm -hmm. Huh? Somebody talking crazy about who they slept with last night uh -uh. and who they anticipate don't get the next time. Uh -huh. Come on! Church folks! Can I talk about church folks? Yeah. I'm a church folk! Mm -hmm. You know what I just said? Uh -huh. It's so easy to slip mm -hmm. into carnal oblivion. Yes. Yes. So easy so to lose your way. On a Sunday, and say, man, what happened to me? I used to love to praise God. I used to love to talk about God. And now, praise God. I talk more about what happened in the club last night than Jesus. I talk more about, praise God, amen, hallelujah, praise God on James down the street. I know John of Yonder, amen, praise God. I talk about who will work the church, amen, who ain't doing what. The devil is a fool, and he keeps us. So he's a trick. And he's a pimp. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Say, I refuse to be bad for him. See what I mean? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at the decline in the rope. Uh -huh. See all the roots? It we went from that to that. Look how quick. Mm -hmm. Look how quick. And then the next one is that. Praise God, that's that. Soil mm -hmm. left unattended. Mm -hmm. Huh? Thorns and thistles, the Bible talks about it. Huh? Thorns and thistles. How many know if you don't pray, you're going to that garden and get out there, praise God, and pull those weeds and that grow that Johnson grass. Amen. Get out there, get that mess out your flowers and out your garden. Amen. You go out there next, next time, you will have a bunch of wild weeds. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't even see your plants. Right. Right. Huh? You can't even see that's when it's in the spirit realm. Yeah. Same way. Mm -hmm. Same way when we become dormant. So he ain't going to tell me what to do. Tell me. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen. And what happens then? When I say nobody will tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. After all, this is my life. Mm -hmm. I'm traditionally silent. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Been doing this ever since I was knee high to a bullfrog. Mm -hmm. Been doing me. Mm How -hmm. I many know doing me will take straight hell? Uh -huh. I, I come to that conclusion, brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. Doing me got me in trouble. Every time it says, not sometimes, every time. I said, every time. There's a way that seems right to me. There's a way that seems right to me. But in the end, Nate, that's a short road. Don't be caught walking on a short pier, Nate. Huh? How many know that pier ends? And there's nothing but water. The abyss, if you will. When I say, I can't listen to you, I can't listen to my brothers and sisters. I'm too proud. I can't listen to this man of God, this woman of God. We all need to tell each other something. Amen. That's the problem today. Nobody can tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Evangelizing, please. I can't. Nobody gonna tell me what to do. You know, really. And the enemy, meanwhile, at the ranch, is wreaking havoc. Come on, this is light drained out. See all these weeds? See how chaotic that look? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Look how I strike it. See how I strike that look? Look at that. 
That's how our spirit gets. And when your spirit gets like that, I guarantee you, you're not going to receive nothing. You can't hear nothing. Your hearing becomes dull, and you think about, praise God, what's going to do after you get out of here? Man, I can say what's what I got to do. I got to do one, two, three. Yeah, I got to go down there. Yeah, no, no, no. This week, just a new week ahead. Thinking about the calendar. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm an evangelist. 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 Glory to God. Look, the last week, praise the Lord. No planting, no watering. God can't give the increase. Huh? I mean, no scripture. One plant, another one. But God give it the increase. But if I'm not receiving, if this seed, how many know when the word of God, as it went forth a few minutes ago, as she was sharing the, even the numbers and the statistics of percentages, you know, if that falls on praise God there saw, all you're coming out there was a waste of time. You could be watching for oh man. Huh? You could, I'm just saying, because if, if coming saints of God, and I'm talking about the body of Christ as a whole, if coming, praise God, is nothing more than just something to do. And I'm going to my cousin, I didn't have anything else going on, so I just come to church. I just came. No, I didn't have anything else. I ain't doing nothing else, so I guess I'll go on out there. Huh? How many know that we get in the place, got to be careful that we don't act like we're giving, doing God's thing? Amen. Y'all don't need my family. Yeah. You ever see folks like that? Mm -hmm. They're the last one to come again. They want to look at them. Mm -hmm. They come back down the middle aisle. Yeah, we all know them. We know them now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Walking real slow. <laughs> like they want to run away or something. <laughs> we all see them. I don't know about y'all. I've seen that kind of stuff. Yeah. They want you to see them. Wow. Last one to come in. Uh, yeah. Because when the last one to come in, oh, first lady, yeah, everybody look at me. And sometimes they just look, they like, just look what I got on. New shoes. <laughs> and we just walk. Proud as a peacock. <laughs> Come on. How many of you have seen that? It's okay. Yeah. We all love with family. Yeah. We talk, right? Yeah. I've seen it. Uh -huh. And you're thinking, oh my God. Well, she just sat out. He just sat out. That's not even worried. Or, or you see them, well, they get up about 15 times during the service with the hand up. Uh -huh. <laughs> Walk real slow. <laughs> and down the aisle. We've all seen it, right? Uh, Pripping all the way. Uh, you think, who was that? <laughs> huh? Or who is that? Or what's in you? <laughs> so, I got a person that works with me. I won't call her name, but she's kind of spooky. <laughs> she's scared me. I don't know if she's a hypercon baby, I don't know. She's, I call her a hyper bunny. <laughs> just, 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 you know. and, and, and sometimes just talking to her, you don't know what she's talking about, sister so Diane. I'm not, I'm not lying. And, I'm not, and, I'll be, and I try to kind of stay in the back where I can just kind of, if I see some customers, customers come in, right up and going to them. And I try to make it quick from that back to the front so I don't have to run into her. <laughs> And some guys are like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say, praise God, good soul. Praise God, good soul. Say, God, I help you to be a planner. Come on, point to yourself. God. Say, God, help me to be a planner. I'm not going to be ashamed no more. I'm not going to be ashamed. No really? No it's okay. It's just as easy as doing coffee clubs to talk to somebody. Amen. It's okay if they don't, oh, he talk crazy, he talk, it's okay. But our only, and our only purpose here, amen. To, it, why we're Christian is that we might tell people about the soon coming king. Amen. That's Amen. it. Amen. You don't have to be deep in theology. Uh -huh. So I don't know the Bible. What an excuse. Huh? What an excuse. We'll talk real quick, real, real quick. What is contrition? How many know what contrition is? You ever heard that word? Contrition, real quick? The Bible speaks of, 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 of a contrite heart. I, I, I don't really need you to read it. Isaiah 66 six, six, six and 2. The Lord says there. These are the ones, these are the ones with favor. Yeah. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit, who tremble at my word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then he writes the sacrifice of God Almighty, broken spirit. Thank you, God. Huh? A broken and contrite heart. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh God, you will not despise contrition. Mm -hmm. Despise. Contrition is spoken of, of something God likes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Would you like to be something God likes? 
And it is linked to these verses to humility, brokenness, and a healthy fear of God's word. So what exactly does it mean to be contrite? Amen. It certainly don't mean arrogant. Amen. It certainly don't mean that. Because anybody want to listen to it. How many know that even unsaved people don't want to listen to an arrogant man? Amen. You come here trying to witness. I'm trying to witness in the street, but I'm being condescending. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. In my opinion, in that attitude. Uh-huh. Even on our best day, we'll fall on our face without the Holy Ghost, mm-hmm. without the Holy Spirit in there. Because first of all, you're going to come with compassion. Amen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen? I'm almost done. Praise the Lord. Right. Amen. Lord. According to the International Bible Act Encyclopedia, a contrite heart is one in which the natural pride and self Sufficiency. Somebody say self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency. Have been completely humbled by the consciousness of guilt. The Hebrew and Greek words often translated contrite actually mean crushed, crippled, or broken. When contrite modifies heart, when, when contrite modifies heart, we get the picture of a conscience that is crushed by the weight of all its guilt. Ownership. Somebody say ownership. Ownership. Glory to God. When a human spirit stops justifying its wrong choices, awake and awakens to the depth of depravity, and humbly accepts God's righteousness, condemnation of sin, amen? Amen. Contrition is present. And contrite heart offers no excuses and shifts no blame. Isn't that wonderful? No yes. It fully agrees with God. Somebody say fully agrees with God. Fully agree. About how evil it is. <laughs> that hurts, man. For being home, what a jerk I've been. Huh? Yes, I do it every time, every chance I get. Hallelujah. Every chance I get. I tell God, I said, Lord, I know I'm in recovery. Yeah. Amen. I'm like a, I'm like a crack fiend mm. when it comes to the things of God. Yes. I know at any moment I'm subject to relapse yes. if I don't keep my face in the mirror of God's word. Amen. 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 That's right. I'm no different than a crack addict. When I have to go, okay, or somebody just own wet. Witness or uh, uh, temper. Mm-hmm. Witness cigarette. Huh? No different. Mm-hmm. If I pray God in my in my in my in my person, in myself, pray God feel like I don't need God. I don't need to pray. I don't need to read no Bible. I don't need to do none of that. A long time ago I realized something. And that was my life became unmanageable. Mm. My life became unmanageable. Wow. It did. And I realized that I needed a savior. Amen. Amen. Wow. Last thing. Anybody with me so far? Amen. Yes, Glory to God. Somebody, somebody say, I'm going to evangelize. Well, I'm going to evangelize, Lord. Evangelize. Listen at this, saints of God. Glory to God. It fully agrees with God about how evil it is. A contrite heart throws itself upon the mercy of God. Glory to mercy. Knowing that it deserves nothing but righteous wrath. Mm. Amen? Amen. Knowing, amen, all along. And that's what grace is. Yes. God unmerited favor. Yes. God gave me what I didn't deserve to have. Amen. Amen. You mean to tell me I'm going to keep my mouth shut about him? No. no. It's not going to happen. Mm. I don't have to praise God, worry about it, to see as long as I sow, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. God will give the increase. Amen. 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 Praise God. Give God a hand clap. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap. Amen. There's a lot more. And I believe, praise God, that God, God, I'm going to know that God's word won't spoil. Amen. It won't spoil Bishop and First Lady. It won't spoil. His word won't spoil. Amen. 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 His word just like the energizer buddy. Amen. 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 Keeps going and going and going. Amen. Let's give Bishop a hand clap. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. What a blessing. What a blessing. Yeah, yeah. What a blessing to have his word. Amen. Yeah, what a blessing to have his word. Amen. 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 I, I know y'all enjoyed it. I tell you, I feel well. Yes. I well. Amen. 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 I, I just can't, I, I can't come up here and, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a thing you can, she's got that opera, that, that opera voice. Yes. What a wonderful, what a wonderful Amen. thing. Well, 
Praise God. How many of y'all say to know you're saved? Yes, Lord. How many of you say to know you're saved? Amen. Come on, won't you act like it? Give a shout. Give a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, I, I tell you what a, what a, what a richness. It, 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 it's, um, I cannot wait uh, until we get over in third water with a third water with the ark. Third ward with the ark and uh, uh, got three evangelists now that, uh, along with our, our people that's going to be with us that day uh, over there in the Sisha Rush's area in the third ward area. Amen. And um, we've been there in that same area once before. But this time it's going to be with some, some evangelism. Amen. Um, now, I'm, I don't, I'm going to say this because I don't want to scare anybody. How many of y'all say? Amen. 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 Uh, uh, but but uh, Dr. Daniels was given those statistics, and uh, which means every time every time you really listen to something like that, you uh, you know you're gonna have a fight. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And, um, and and you never thought in America that you would have people that would get angry when Christians would go out and speak about Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, I, and I remember when I was in India, and they get rushed us out the airport, and, and I didn't know how serious things were until we got down the road, and we asked them, well, what, what's the big rush? Mm -hmm. And they said, well, they have no Hindu festival. Uh -huh. and, I, and I came up kind of what they said, if Christians are there, are there, they could hurt you, and nobody would do anything about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, drive fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We got going, and uh, but it's amazing. Uh, but that it's amazing how how in certain areas of people are so hungry. Yes. yes. So hungry for the gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, and now y'all know good well if it was drizzling rain and we had an outside meeting, drizzling rain. Mm -hmm. Not nothing to make, to make you ill, but a drizzling rain, we would cancel the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll be honest, we yeah. would cancel the yeah. event. Well, it was drizzling rain when we got there. Lights was all up outside. And I'm thinking, well, go to the hotel and enjoy the night. Those people stood out that rain. Yep. We, we was covered, but they, they stood out there drizzling rain, stop and start, stop and start. Those people did not move. And as far as my eyes could see, there was people out there, out there and they were waiting for the gospel. Amen. 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 And we got we got to get busy. Well, there are some people right in America right now waiting on somebody to get serious about Amen. preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ Amen. out where people can receive it. Amen. And we're going. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going. And we're going. Amen. And we're going. Amen. We are going. Amen. Amen. And uh, I know uh, Pastor Joel. Uh, Joel is over here. Giving out food and everything, and he's witnessing the people as they come get food. And uh, so, all types of events are going to get started. And uh, I'm believing God, and I'm seeing and sensing that it's going to be something that's been birthed all over. Amen. And we're, we're birthing it. Amen. Everybody, everybody know Jesus, right? Yes. All right. Praise God. Praise God. Well, where, 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 oh, there he is. <laughs> It is a joy in the joy to see Brother State in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. And, uh, and you know, and you know what? I know he can say the same thing. You know, it's amazing how God will shut you down to let you know what the devil trying to do to you. Amen. And when, the, when we find what the devil is doing, going to try to do to us, we shut him down. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's good to see him. We're going gonna, 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 gonna to make sure. We're going to pray his total healing before we leave here today. Yes, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Head to toe. Head to toe. Praise God. All right, let's prepare to give. Let's prepare to give. Uh, I, I used to say, if you need an envelope, please get one. No, give everybody one. Amen. Give everybody an envelope. Okay, I'll be you know, If you don't need it, if you don't need it.